Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Sarah. I am a newlywed military wife. My husband is currently at his station right now where I will be joining him in just like, what does my calendar say? 13 days. <laughs> in 13 days I will be joining my husband at his base. Uh, today I am putting together my PCS binder for the first time. So I've got all my materials out in front of me at the table and I will show you guys that real quick. Okay, so this morning I'm just sitting with all the supplies I've gathered so far for my PCS binder. I went and got a brand new one out. Got a brand new one out. I went and bought a brand new one. One that's got like the little opening here so I can make a nice label for the cover. I got two 10 packs of the index dividers to label everything with. I also have two pencil cases, um, one for pens and highlighters and things like that. Ooh. And then the other one um, I can use for receipts or business cards if need be. And then I got a stapler and some staples just in case there's stuff I have to print that needs to be stapled together. And then I got sheet protectors so we don't need to put holes in any important documents. And then I also printed out for some of my tabs. I filled out all my tabs right here. And in order, those are orders, which are obviously my husband's military orders. And I printed out about 10 copies of that. I watched a few videos before making mine and a few of them suggested having about 10 orders um, or copies of his orders. So I have a specific tab just for those. And then other military documents, medical, Ritsuka, which is my beautiful black cat. Ritsuka is his full name. I'm a big anime dork. I'll explain where I got his name later. Um, but that is our cat. We just call him Ritz for short, like the cracker. Uh, home, bank info, car info, personal, and other documents. And then for some of those tabs, I printed out little lists for inventory. If you can see that, that one says military focus. I don't know if it's gonna focus on it. It says military, army appliances, army appliances, army applications, medical, for under the medical list, I have his vouchers of services and like all of his medical clearances. Um, for the Ritsuka tab, what's going in there are his current vaccinations, his spay and his neuter certificate, his home again chip information, and like documents of his past vaccines. For home, we have appliances and electronic serial numbers. It was recommended on one of the PCS lists that we do inventory. So when we did inventory, I created, do, 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 I created a list of all of our electronics and what their serial numbers were. And then I printed out two copies of this just in case our moving company needs a copy. I don't know if they will. Uh, they did take inventory with me over the phone. But, you know, it's just just in case. Um, and then I also have a notebook that I wrote down all of our inventory in. And I broke this down by room and by categories. And it's kind of hard to see because I wrote it in purple. But it says the year 2019 inventory and then living room, appliances and electronics. And then it continues from there furniture. I like figures and pop vinyls so all of that is listed on here too. All of our all of our stuff is 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 on there and then I also wrote down things that 
we didn't necessarily count. But I want to keep, be able to keep track of as well. So all of that is on there. So now that I have all of my stuff in front of me, I keep looking here. But now that I have all my stuff in front of me, we'll go ahead and put it together. Okay, so what I did was on some of these tabs, you know, you'll notice that some of them I've left blank. I did that just in case I needed to add things, just like I did for this one. All right, so I wanted to take a second while I'm doing this to sort of just maybe give you guys some background on my relationship with my husband. So first of all, my husband's name is Alex. Um, we met through some mutual friends, actually. Uh, we have friends who, for a while, were hosting barbecues like every summer. So we would go to those, and eventually we just started talking to each other and we would talk almost like the entire time like there were a few times where we would notice everybody else has gone inside and it was just us still talking outside and he would come over and hang out and we would end up like ignoring what it is we originally got together to do and just talk to each other and it was the conversation that we had that really drew me into him and um, eventually, I kind of left the guy I was seeing. So, yes, disclaimer, I was seeing somebody when I started talking to Alex. Um, I just wasn't sure, like, if I was, I don't know, I just wasn't sure exactly. And I just started talking to him even though I was kind of seeing somebody else and we weren't really doing anything we were just hanging out cat like hanging out like friends and stuff playing video games and talking um, but eventually it got to the point where I just kind of knew that this could go somewhere this was gonna mean something so I broke up with the guy I was seeing and I started dating Alex and we've been together ever since and with his military career, he actually started out in the National Guard. And once his contract with the National Guard uh, was completed, he entered the Army Reserves. And then from the Reserves, he filled out what was called a conditional release form. And he basically was granted permission to go active duty, I guess. Um, so that's where we are now. And he got approved for active duty. Let's see way earlier this year. I can't even remember what month it was, but it's pretty much as soon as we knew he was approved for active duty, uh, we got engaged and then got married, uh, which was something we pretty much knew we wanted to do right away anyway. We knew it was something. Um, and we, <laughs> we knew we were meant to be before we even got married. So it wasn't 
something that felt, uh, it felt like every goal we've wanted to accomplish in our relationship, we've accomplished. And so far, that feels pretty bomb diggity. And, um, frankly, I'm actually kind of, I'm actually really excited for our future together. He's worked really, really hard to get to where he's going. And I'm really, really proud of him. So, yeah. forgot to mention with my home information I also put in like any menu like for this for instance we have an adjustable bed frame so this is like the instructional and care like information for it so I went ahead and added that in our home tab as well and uh, all of our old um, well I guess it's not old yet because I am still in this apartment but um, all of our contract information and deposit receipts and stuff like that for the apartment we currently live in right now and like this one um, I have that information in here as well that way when we go to turn on our keys if there's anything to sign or you know if there's any complications later we have all that information <laughs> The reason I decided to add uh, car info to our PCS binder was that way if uh, we need it for any kind of reimbursements or whatever, we have it. Um, honestly, some stuff I'm not 100% sure if we do need or not, but I'd rather be safer than sorry and have it on me than not on me. <laughs> just real quick mention some other things I like to do um, I really love concerts and I've been to quite a few this year I've gone and seen Papa Roach I saw a band called Missio twice and I also got to meet them that was super freaking cool um, if you guys have watched my first video you may have seen some of the pictures that I took from our miss my misfits show that I went to with my friend so if you guys would be interested in hearing some other things like about those shows, let me know in the comment section or whatever and I'll definitely 
talk about it. I've kind of thought about doing videos like that as well, but I don't know if they would actually be things that people would be interested in. So if they are, definitely let me know. I'm, I'm willing to talk. So let's talk. That's what this is for, right? Right? Maybe. Maybe not. Fun fact. I didn't graduate from high school by 10 credits. So I actually have my equivalence certificate instead. Now, I know military isn't going to need things like high school diplomas or uh, transcripts, or they, they might not need those things. But um, regardless, I just figured any important documents that I find, I should just put go ahead and put in this binder because um, honestly, I don't really like things being spread out. So even if it's kind of not military related, I went ahead and put it in here anyway. But that's what the others tab was specifically for. It was for those random important documents that I just didn't want to lose track of, like tax information or like I said, those certificates and whatnot. But now that I am basically done putting together my binder here I think what I'm gonna do next is make a nice cover for it to go on the front and this has a little bolt right here so I can't slide anything right here but if I can find a way of maybe attaching a little thing to go on the spine right here then when I put it up on a shelf I can still see what this binder is I'm gonna do that too because why not I also had extra dividers that I'm going to go ahead and keep in here as well just in case we end up needing more tabs later or I end up adding things um and then I think that's basically it you guys I'll show you a little snippet of what my PCS binder looks like with its cover at the very end but other than that I think this video is a wrap y'all so I will see you all in the next video. And in the meantime, have a good week. <laughs> I never know how to end these things. It always ends kind of awkward, but whatever, whatever. It's all cool beans, right? <laughs> all right, so here is the cover for my PCS binder. I have some photo editing apps on my phone and I used those to create the cover of my binder. I've got pictures from uh, my husband and I are from our, what is this? Engagement announcements. There you go. So this is, these were our, from our, from our engagement announcements. These were from our actual wedding day in his parents' yard. And then this is us growing old together. And then I also created um, a little thing for the side so that way in our when we have an office space, when we have it standing up, we can actually see it from the side too. And those were also photos from um, our wedding day and like getting engaged. And then on the inside, well you guys saw me put together the inside so I'm not going to flip through that too much. Um, but on the inside I did also create like a little... Uh, table of contents yeah a little table of contents so that way you can tell what all these tabs are supposed to be I didn't realize the uh, paper covers were going to be the paper covers the sheet protectors I didn't realize the sheet protectors were going to be longer than the dividers so you can't actually see all the little dividers that are in between the sheet protectors <laughs> but they they are there, so um, that's why I wrote these instead, just to help 
it stay a little bit more organized. And then, like I said, the two pencil cases, I don't have any receipts or anything like that right now, but in the future when we have other moves and we have receipts from those moves or anything like that, they're gonna go in here. We were silly this time and didn't save anything from when we bought boxes or gas receipts or none of that, um, which is a mistake. You do wanna hold on to those things so that they can reimburse you, but all things I am learning because we are new with this, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but anyway, this is uh, the binder in its completed form. <laughs>